So guys, it looks like 2022 might be a very important year for Sonic, eh? What's up everybody and welcome back to our reactions. My name is Wolfie and today we're going to be briefly discussing the exciting year that is 2022 and what it means for all of us Sonic fans. So let's talk about 2022 and just what it means for all of us Sonic fans. So starting off with the obvious, we have the ongoing, never stopping, but sometimes delayed, IDW Sonic the Hedgehog comic books. We've had a bunch of spin-off issues with Tangle and Whisper, the recent imposter syndrome that have all been building up to issue 50, which is going to be a climatic arc ending story from what they've been telling us. So yes, the IDW books have been going strong and boy are they good. If you haven't checked out these books already, I'd highly recommend it. They are good reads. Also check out my reviews on these. I've done them all since number one. Also coming out soon is the Sonic the Hedgehog movie number two, which is due out April 8th of this year. Do we even need to talk about this movie? Like, if you're a Sonic fan, you know about this movie, you've seen the trailer multiple times, like me, and you probably lost your shit when Knuckles showed up at the end. I'm telling you, when I saw that, I lost it. Do I look like I need your power? Oh! <laughs> oh my... Probably my moment of last year for as far as trailers went. The most hype I've ever gotten watching a trailer for a movie. Look, okay? Who's on my hat right there? Who is that? Knock knock, it's Knuckles. Knuckles is my boy and I cannot wait to see him on the big screen. Voiced by Idris Elba himself. We got Colleen returning to do the voice of Tails. We have all this good stuff lined up. Jim Carrey's back doing the Eggman role again. There are so many fun easter eggs in that movie trailer. Check it out. I don't know if you haven't, if you haven't seen it. Where the hell have you been? Seriously. Sonic Movie 2 coming out in April. That's gonna be easy, easy day one watch. Super excited for that one. Can't wait to see where they go with this and what they tease at the end of that one. Because they're combining Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 into one movie for the second movie. What does that mean for the third movie? What does that mean? Are they gonna adapt Sonic CD? Maybe Metal Sonic and Amy? Or are they gonna go Adventure 1 and 2? with chaos and maybe teasing shadow at the end i don't know but the but the results oh man oh i, I, I got i got hype again who even knows at this point but my hype levels are through the roof right now i can't wait to see this movie and i can't wait to see what they tease at the end because that's going to set the stage for the trilogy if they decide to go with a third movie sonic could be the very first video game movie trilogy that actually nails it for all three movies could you imagine i don't think there are many video game based movies that have three movies that are good not on the top of my head anyway so hopefully sonic could be the first to do it i'm keeping my fingers crossed it's kind of weird to think about that i'm more confident with the sonic movie than i am with the games but then again the first movie proved itself by being surprisingly competent so the second movie can only be better and if we go for a third hold up though but even after all of that in the fall we have the upcoming netflix show sonic prime coming out and Sonic Prime is looking to be a very interesting show based on the concept arts that they released. We have one image where Sonic appears to be hiding from a very tribal looking Amy. Kind of reminded me a bit of Styx from Sonic Boom. Sonic having clearly defeated a bunch of different Eggmen. Could we possibly see Eggette in there? I'm hopeful. Sonic running to what appears to be a bunch of portals. One of which showing a Knuckles flag in some sort of pirate setting. Sonic investigating what is clearly an alternate dimension Tails, and this amazing Sonic image that gives me some super Sonic CD bad future vibes. Oh man, I love it. Look at these colors. It reminds me of Stardust Speedway bad future. And as you can clearly see, Eggman has taken over. He has made Eggman land. Look at these Easter eggs here. A few of those orbs on top of the columns look like Dr. Ivor Robotnik from Sonic Sat AM. We have what appears to be Game Eggman in one of those images on the side. And yeah, the purple and red skyline, man. It just, it gives me those Stardust Speedway Bad Future vibes, and I am all here for it. I cannot wait to see what this show has in store for us. Because also, Ian Flynn was consulted on the story. Doesn't mean he actually wrote the story, but at the very least, he was spoken to about different storylines they're probably going to be doing in this. So yes, this is looking good. Cannot wait for Sonic Prime this fall. We also have Sonic Origins, which is a collection of the older games, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3 and & Knuckles, and Sonic CD all in one collection, which will be released on all platforms later on this year. And guess what? The games will also be in 16x9 ratio, which is extra good. 
But you know why I'm more excited for this collection than anything? Because it's got my favorite Sonic game of all time in there, Sonic CD, which is the greatest Sonic game ever made. That's right, I said it. If you have any disagreements, come at me in chat. Tell me what your favorite is, and I'll tell you why you're wrong. Sonic CD is the best, and I will fight you all for it. Last but certainly not least, we have Sonic Frontiers, which was announced at the Game Awards last year. This mysterious Sonic game that seems to take place in a brand new setting. And yes, it was confirmed that the voice we heard in the trailer was indeed Amy Rose. Again, we don't know much about this game and not a lot of gameplay was shown, but they have shown off the different environments of this game. Sega has been very adamant about the quality of this game since they have delayed it multiple times at this point. We also know that Ian Flynn will be responsible for the story of this game, which makes a lot of us go... Whew, dodge the bullet there! In Sonic Frontiers, Sonic's longtime nemesis Dr. Eggman discovers an ancient technology. Boy, does that sound familiar. On the Starfall Islands and installs his AI program, Sage, to hack in and take over. I see what they did there with the Sage. I see it. Sega rearranged, or he could be referring to Sage, the Sonic fan game event. Either way. But there is more to this technology than he realizes, and unintended consequences immediately come to bear. Sonic must race against time to discover the truth, save his friends, and maybe even save himself at the same time. This sounds like the story might take itself a little seriously, at least more so than the post-era Sonic Colors games have recently, but that's Ian Flynn's whole thing. This almost sounds like it has high stakes, almost like the Zomba arc, which was in the IDW Sonic comics a while back. I for one am cautiously optimistic to see how this game plays out. One thing I know for sure is that it's going to have good music, because Sega always does that. No matter how much the quality of the game is, you can always depend on the Sonic music being good. The story I am also optimistic for, now that I know Ian Flynn will be doing it, so that fills me with a little bit of hope. The game has been delayed two times as far as I know, and that, to me, tells me that Sega is either not rushing this, which is good, or they just weren't confident in the game as it was and they needed more time. Either way, a delay is good. I take as long as you need, Sega. Apparently it's coming out in winter of this year, or maybe next year, January, February. Either way, don't rush. Don't, don't rush this game out for the anniversary, Sega. Please, please, I'm begging you. We've had the anniversary games and there's a history of good, bad, good, bad. The last one wasn't great. We need this one to be a hit. We need this one to be good, man. Like, we have the Sonic movie coming out, which is going to be good. We have Sonic Prime, which is probably going to be good. We have all this stuff lined up. The stars have aligned for a good year for Sonic. We just need Sonic Frontiers to deliver on that front. Can you do that for us, Sega? Please, please, I'm begging you to hit us with that quality. And that sums up this whole year for Sonic officially. We're not counting the Sonic fan projects or the Fanimations or all these cool events. We're just talking official Sonic stuff from Sega and all the merchandising stuff. There's going to be tons of merchandise coming out soon. But yeah, what do you guys think of this year? Are you excited, cautiously optimistic? Let me know which thing has you the most excited. Is it Sonic Prime, the movie, the game? Let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to Wear Up Reactions if you haven't already for more videos like this. And ring the bell. Seriously though, I, I think for me, I'm probably most excited for... The movie, the comics, Prime, and I'm cautiously optimistic for Sonic Frontier. Sonic Origins will be good. I can't wait to play those games in 16 by 9 ratio. Oh man, I'm so excited. Hopefully there's another surprise announcement. I'm hoping there's another surprise announcement. I doubt it. Let's just deal with what we got now on the table, right? Let's finish our plate. Let's not rush it. Have this be good. If we have a good game this year with Sonic Frontiers, I will be happy. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Wash your hands, wear your mask, social distance, get vaccinated if you haven't already, and be safe out there, guys. Until next time, I will see you then. Stay tuned.